This ER nurse made $2 million selling her med school notes on Etsy. Now, in terms of like a side hustle or like make money online type of situation, like this is pretty darn amazing. So let's check this out. She's cashing in on her crash courses. A California nurse has claimed that she's earned $2 million dollars for her class notes from school after listing them for sale on Etsy. Stephanie begs 28, wow, only 28 and you made 2 million from your notes, began selling her study notes when she graduated from nursing school, she told Fox News, adding that she reached a sudden very unintentional level of internet infamy. I was studying for the board's exam, what we call the NCLEX for nursing, and it was right when the pandemic happened, so I had nobody to study with, she said. I would teach myself to the wall, and I would record it. And then I posted that onto social media, and people loved it. Beggs, who is named in the 2023 Forbes 30 Under 30 list, regularly shares her nursing knowledge with her 650,000 some followers on TikTok, where she began teaching crash courses in 2020. That's when eager viewers requested that she sell her handwritten notes. Now, that's actually a pretty impressive thing. Now, I don't know what she's, like, charging for her stuff and whatnot. Hold on, like, I wonder if I could actually see it. Let's see. Steph Beggs, at Steph Begg, okay. Linktree, of course. Let's see. Well, that's... Yeah, she's definitely teaching. Interesting. Open anyway. Let's see. YouTube teaching. Shop RNE explained. Heart sound solutions. Amazon favorites. Factor. Okay, so other stuff. So RN explained. You know me from my nursing school. Interesting. So, wow, she just started her YouTube channel. On February 1st, 2023. That's pretty cool. Wow. At least she's doing like pretty in-depth stuff. Are unexplained Etsy. Dear Lord. Oh my God. She's got 69,570 sales. Oh my God. And her best seller is a $115 program. Yo, I did not know what to expect, but she is making some crazy money from this, for sure. I know it says two million, but oh my god, <laughs> nearly seventy thousand sales. That is so crazy. Like for example, right? If you have a good enough following. And by good enough, I mean, like, you don't even need that big of a following. But let's say that you have, like, 10,000 people following you on social media combined, right? But you have, like, a 1,000 people that follow you that are extremely loyal or really believe what you talk about or want to learn more from you. Depending on what you sell to help them, main thing, help them, you can make some crazy money. So, to put into perspective, a long time ago, I saw a person who had not even 10,000 people following them, but more so like 1,000 people following them, but they ended up making like a video or two videos that went viral, right? So, they still had like like a small amount of like core followers, maybe about like 100 people that were like really believing in what they were talking about but then they got a little bit viral and got a little bit more traction but with that 100 loyal audience that they had out of the 1,000 followers they were making at the very beginning of when they started to make sales about $50,000 a month right now it basically like skyrocketed because after their first month and they had that video go viral after, 
it like exploded their business like crazy to the point where they were making about 400 to I think $600,000 by the sixth month after the video went super viral, which was crazy. Now, they still didn't really have a crazy amount of followers, but the loyal follower base grew. So they had like 100 very loyal followers. Then it went from... <clears throat> It went from 100 to 300, then to like 1,000, then to 2,000, then to 3,000 super loyal followers. But they were like selling something that was pretty high ticket, about like 500, 600 bucks. So they were making some crazy numbers every single month. Like it was crazy. And they didn't really do any marketing. They didn't really do any like advertising for their products, basically. It was all just them basically communicating with their audience directly. And they made a disgusting amount of money. But they definitely didn't get anywhere near the 69,570 sales. I think at their peak, they maybe had like five to 6,000 sales, but that's for like a high ticket product. So maybe after taxes and everything said and done, they made maybe like 3.5 million, 3 million after everything said and done, which was like a couple of years of them doing that. But this is crazy. 69,570 sales. That is a lot of sales. But it's actually, what's amazing about this is that like a lot of the people that like end up buying her products really like it. That's actually really interesting. Fast shipping, excellent resource, love how it's done, printing and spiral binding are top notch. Thanks so much. The new hard copy one, concise, organized information with all of the important details included, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Props to you, uh, lady, Steph Beggs. So let's get back to it. Let's see. So I created a shop that eventually became viral, she said, adding that she sells study sheets. I passed the boards a long time ago, and now I sell them for students who are approaching the boards exam and taking tests in nursing school, she said. Beggs charges anywhere from $2 for a single study sheet to $30 or $40 for the whole package on particular subjects, or for $115, students can purchase a bundle of notes on Etsy. And she also sells shirts, notepads, stickers, and other nursing-themed products online. So yeah, I mean, it was crazy. Like, this is, again, a bestseller, right? So she's making a good amount of money from this, which is pretty cool to see. It's really cool to see someone do so well doing their own path. So the emergency room nurse claimed that she racked up $2 million in profits last year and has turned her brand RNE explained oh RN explained into a full-time job while still working in the ER and teaching pharmacology. Now, the coolest thing about this, right, is that she didn't just make this like her one focus, right? It's like, "Oh, she's doing the nursing, she's also teaching the nursing, and she has other stuff that she's like she's still like growing her knowledge and her experience base in this subject, which I think is a pretty awesome thing. For example, say someone was trying to sell a product about being a real estate agent, right? Well, you would hope that person is still a real estate agent and is not just making their full-time thing, selling how to be a real estate agent when they're no longer a real estate agent. Because how do you really trust that information if they're still not trying to improve their situation in real estate or their knowledge base in real estate? Now, it'd be kind of completely different if, like, let's say that you're teaching something maybe about, like, investing because you pretty much do that all the time. So, obviously, they should still be investing their money, etc. Let's see. So, she previously told Insider that she works 12-hour shifts at the hospital only to come home and make content. The nurse never truly has a day off. She constantly works on her social media presence, filming videos that she captures and edits herself. 
Even two years later, it's still mind-blowing that my TikTok blew up as much as it did. It can feel so shocking at times that so many people want to follow me, reads the recent essay by Beggs. But then I take a step back and realize I've put in so much work and that it shouldn't be so surprising that people admire and like my content. Let's see. Uh, ah, music on it. They always add music on, like TikTok. This month, she even launched her new RN Explained teaching series on YouTube, which we checked out, an extension of her ever-growing nursing lessons domain, and in the end, it makes me feel really good that I'm able to have an impact on people's nursing and healthcare journeys, just like they've had on mine. Now, again, the cool thing about this that I really like is that she doesn't make this just her main thing. She is still doing it and is going to probably still do it regardless of how much money she makes because she loves to do it, right? You don't do like nursing for like 12 hours and then go do this other thing afterwards instead of basically having a life unless you really enjoyed doing what you're doing, right? So it's pretty cool for her to do it. One more thing, 2 million over just 10 years is 200K a year. Seriously, think about it. If not a nurse practitioner, then you will not make that. Well, this person's like, does this person not really understand what she did? Like, she made 2 million in a single year of profit. So this one Mike guy doesn't really understand the situation. So, like, she didn't make. 2 million from being a nurse she made 2 million selling notes about how she basically passed her nursing exams to become a nurse I checked this out as fake news the thing is I wouldn't really think that is fake news because you could literally see how many sales she has on her Etsy store, right? And the fact that one of the best sellers is a pretty high, well, not really a high ticket, but like a decent priced product, which is $115. Like, let's see, on calculator. Let's say that only... 5,000 of the sales were that 115, right? So 5,000 times $115 product, that's $575,000 just on that, right? Like I think the like lowest price product is $2, okay? So let's just say $69,570 and say at the minimum, of two dollars, right? Which we know is not that because some of her best sellers are fifteen, thirty-five, sixty, and one hundred and fifteen dollars, right? But the smallest, smallest amount, right? Which we know it's not is like like no matter what, it's higher than this number, is one hundred and thirty-nine thousand one hundred and forty, right? Which we know that no matter what, she's higher than this number, based off the sales, and that. Some like she has best sellers that are not two dollars, so it's just crazy to me. Like, sometimes you see some comments online and you're like, Come on, like that literally just doesn't make any sense. So, I do believe that she probably made the two million dollars in profit the year before, or whatever. Like, I believe that because all it probably really takes is just one video or content to go viral. You have a decent store slash landing page and have enough people to convert. So, for example, let's just say I were to create some random video or whatever that gets like 100,000 views. But 1,000 people that viewed that 100,000 viewed video were to go into the description and buy a product, right? 
And if I was selling a high ticket product or a well priced product, right, where I don't need that many sales con to convert a lot, if those 1,000 people literally bought a product and I was selling like a thousand dollar product, a two thousand dollar product, or a five thousand dollar product, we're easily talking about millions of dollars, right? Millions of dollars potentially with not that much like traction in terms of like traffic or audience or whatever. If just a certain percentage of people convert out of a certain amount of people that viewed, you're going to potentially get a good amount of money coming in, right? And people need to understand too, like a lot of these like online companies, along these online businesses, they're very different than almost any other business because they can just scale like instantaneously, right? It's the same reason why you pretty much have some of these girls that do the whole OF stuff, right? Where if they have a following already, they already get clicks, they already get views on their stuff in terms of like 50,000 people, 100,000 people commenting on their photos or liking their photos or whatever. And if they drop an OF, for like 10 or 20 or 30 bucks a month, by the end of the year, you could end up having someone like Bad Baby who made like $50 million in a single year, right? And I don't think she posts basically anything. So it's just like, people need to understand that the greatest aspect or benefit to these online companies or online side hustles is just that how fast can you go from zero to a lot of money? right? Because it could literally happen day one. It could literally happen a year later. You could end up having like basically no sales for years. And then one piece of content just like takes off and then bam, you're getting crazy amount of sales coming in. So it's just something to really think about, especially if you're doing like all organic content and all that kind of stuff, right? Not doing advertising. All it takes is one video to go viral that converts kind of okay to a product that's priced okay to make good money.